All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, we are going to be playing uh, NCAA today. Um, I know that I kind of had scheduled Silent Hill, but I'm so close to finishing this season um, with the Aggies and the SEC West that kind of just wanted to go ahead and knock out at least two games. We're going to try to maybe knock out three. I got about two and a half hours, so um, we're going to see if we can take on Ole Miss, and then I'm pretty sure, is it Bama next? Let's take a look here. We'll go ahead and switch the game place that you guys can see too. We play Ole Miss this week, and then it's Texas A&M, who's number five, and then Bama. So we can still. I mean, we had a tough loss to LSU. Um, I mean, we're pretty much. It's it's going to be very very tough. Uh, it, it, we're not technically out, but it, we, we're pretty much out. <laughs> so. Um, <clears throat> we're going to try to, uh, go ahead and finish some of these games and see what we can finish our season as and see if we can keep improving our recruiting class while we're at it so that we can try to, you know, make a run again next year, um, and attempt to win the SEC West. Uh, it's going to be really tough. Because I'm pretty sure, even though my team will be getting better after the season, I'm pretty sure all the other teams in the SC West with these rosters get better next year, too. So they're all kind of down right now. I'm pretty sure Alabama is the highest overall rated team. Or maybe they're not. Maybe they're... No, I'm pretty sure that them and Clemson are both 95 overalls. And I'm pretty sure that after two seasons, because I use these same rosters in my online dynasty, pretty sure after two seasons they're back up to 99 overall teams, so... Everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. <laughs> Intensity at a fever pitch, just about set to kick it off in the SEC. Yeah, see, we it's have a small we chance. Here. We need AM to lose and Bama to lose this week. We need them both to beat LSU, and then we need them to lose to me in order for me to be able to reclaim the SEC West. So it's just, it's very daunting, unlikely series of events. <laughs> that makes sense. Zero calories. Enjoy everything. Okay, so we shall be receiving, so I'm going to change the wording of this, so my offense score this drive, I'll start the prediction. Samuels Logan is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. He's to the 10. <laughs> Seniors are throwing on the home jersey. Man, our return game is pretty weak in this game, but it's all right. Emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. I really want to get Samuels. Here comes the offense taking the field. Samuels is like 200 yards behind that guy at Virginia Tech that's leading in rushing yards, and I really want to try to like focus on getting him the rushing title since he's my impact player. Yeah, look at him having a hell of a season. And that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching So I think that that's what I'm gonna try to focus on doing. And switch up between some power o and some. Good blocking. Oh my god, that was an amazing scene. That was beautiful. That's exactly how the play is drawn up, though. I think. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> you never really know with this game. Actually, I'll be able to see the replay. And they make 
basically on that play, when I can see that all my linemen are actually getting their guys and attacking, I'm just watching that backside backer scraping. And if he starts to over pursue, I'm going to cut back. But if he's not and he's taking a good angle, I'm going to keep trying to bounce and hope that he runs into his players. And that's exactly what just happened there. Is he actually ran into the the rush, his own you know, his own D line that was trying to you know uh, penetrate my line. So. I'm gonna run this play real quick so I can rewatch that power on replay. Dang, it didn't work. Let's see here. Okay, not exactly how it's done up because the fullback is technically supposed to help kick out that end, but it actually helped more because the fullback ended up going upfield on that first power play. This last one did not work so well. From their own 43-yard line, it's third down. Okay, they're giving me a. change anything uh, not very much so got a whole first down and price is actually starting to price is our backup running back that i've also got in like a full back role a lot and he's starting to really pick up the game for us well, this is the one i want to try this counter play i think i really think that like an offense could just go between inside zone counter and and power a whole drive oh he needs to cut inside there though i don't know why he tried to bounce so wide if he would have just like taken and gone up the gut he would have been fine all right so now we're gonna go ahead and try <sighs> warner was so disappointed in me last game i was so mad at him See what he's got here. We're gonna look for Mitchell first. Nobody's over on those flats. We're gonna give it to him, but if not, we'll wait for Warner to cross. Price on the other side. Yep. Open field. Tackle made at the 45 Easy money. <clears throat> this is the eighth play of this drive. Anyway, I didn't even realize seeing him got back that fast. He's probably still tired of shit. I don't know, he's doing alright. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38. Mm, get to there. And that's okay, you know, that the D tackle sheds off that block and makes that play as long as the running back falls forward, you know, because you fall forward. It's a four yard play. We're second and medium. You know, the whole playbook's open. But, you know, if you all of a sudden get stalemated or fall backwards and it's third and eight, third and nine, then, you know, you're starting to put the pressure on your offensive coordinators. You know, like right there, I wish that he would have fell forward instead of backwards. But I don't know that it would have gained us any yards because I did a spin move. Probably wasn't smart of me. Let's try this. Third and slide play here. Ball on the 32. And I want to flip it. I see the pressure's coming. I'm going to send Wyatt long. I'm going to give Bodison just a slant. Actually, he should go in route. He'll be right on the first down with that in route. Mm. I want to go for it. <laughs> I want to go for it. That'll bring up fourth and one. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Dang it. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about this one. <clears throat> Fuck, dude. No good. Sure, we've still got more than a half to play, but this is a perfect chance to get some points. All right, well, they went for it here on fourth down. We killed a lot of time. Now we just need to make a stop. So we'll see what they're coming out with. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Take over three. Mike three. 
I've had a lot of issues lately with my tackle button for some reason just doesn't like I realized that you know it, it can make it more difficult on you where you have to have the perfect angle in order to make the tackle but like that's not what this game ever has been so it's just very confusing to me why it's been choosing to lately be so really He's so particular about, um, I guess the angle that you're trying to tackle players and shit. I mean, I'm just trying to make solid tackles. I'm not even trying to do hit sticks or nothing like that because I, I don't want their guys to break my tackle. And of course, you know, there, like, it, it, I'm trying to take control of the D-end or the D-tackle that's trying to make the play. And it gives me control of the cornerback of all people. I wonder if they have a kicker here at the program. And what the Touchdown. fuck is going on there? I know I pressed him, so there's no way he should have gotten fast enough for at least to beat my safety. Uh, this is the kind of shit in this game. So we're pressed here. We didn't press. I, I've literally got my corners up on them to press them. Like over here. We're not pressing. Holy shit, guys. That's so frustrating. <laughs> Fuck is the point of press if you don't press? <sighs> I mean, it's not the corner's fault for getting beat deep. The safety should get over there. But in order for the safety to have time to get over there... You have to knock them off the route. It's not it's not a coverage that, that the corner's supposed to cover deep. He's just supposed to knock the guy off his route to give the safety time to get over top. And then he sinks to his little flat area. And he didn't even give the safety a chance to get over there. Which sucks. If you're a coach, it sucks. Because essentially what happens then is you're put into a situation where you either... Pull your safety away from the box in order to help passing, which then gives it more rushing yards. I mean, or you're just going to have to play, like, cover three because your, you know, your corner doesn't want to actually get up into physical with the guy. And then that just lets up so much underneath shit that they are falling apart. All right, is it time to open this up? Let's look at what they do here. Maybe they, uh... They line up at the 10. Maybe it's they give down. us some running lanes in this formation, yeah. Typically teams run a dime whenever they see four wide receiver, and I'm kind of against that. I don't think that any team should run a dime against four. I think you run a dime against... You run a dime against five wide receiver for sure. I don't know, I guess it depends on your coverage. I hate this. I hate, I hate the 3 2 6. He's scrambling. Hey, Warren, we caught crossing her out. That would have you know, given us a chance last game. <laughs> oh, shoot. I didn't choose the outcome of that fiction. Um, choose the outcome. They did not score that drive. <clears throat> okay. It's first and ten. Ball on the thirty-nine. Oh shit, we're in trouble. Every single receiver was covered for sure. Yeah. A tight, low scoring yeah, every single receiver is covered. Minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7 0, Ole Miss. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. You can't block me. You can't block me. Mike 35. Mm. Mike 35. I should be able to run against this. What sucks is that those linebackers staying back there actually kind of fucks me. Scrambling around. Taken down at 
Again on third down. <laughs> He's on the run. Uh, drop field more. About the forty seven yard line. Ooh, all right, well, we're going to go for it again. If he just turns up field, then we're fine. I'm actually gonna run so this little gonna go for it here. zigzag here to the boundary. I gotta tell you, I'm really surprised. Actually, no, I'm gonna flip this. this I'm gonna under with Abraham and give Warner a chance to make a play. Holy cow. I got really lucky Here's there, the I think. Play of the series. Dude, we've got to be able to run the ball whenever there's... There we go. I need that linebacker to come up. We're good there. All right, hey, I'll take that. We'll take that all day. Three yards to get the first here on second down. And they got it. He just moved past the blockers. My guys are just so covered. This man coverage, man. I, I gotta find plays that beat man coverage more. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. I'm I mean, I'm looking down at every single receiver of mine is covered, so of course, you know. I'm running out of time, I'm like, okay, I've got to throw to somebody, and I'm throwing them my check down, and of course, that's what happens, so. Okay, this game is going to get way more interesting now. I just need my receivers to get open, and right now, that all, all they're fucking doing is just running me in coverage on me. Logan, ready to kick. He just drills this one. This is killing me. I gotta find me and beat this dude. And really, crossing routes and like mesh is supposed to be the man beater, so. Yeah, right now I'm kinda just at a loss. Sometimes it's actually better than the game itself, so they prepared themselves very well. I guess we'll just keep trying to make them run into each other. It's just not a. Everybody's covered, man. I don't, I don't have a single receiver that's getting any separation. And then you know it's my receiver that's getting ran into. It's not even you know I'm trying to run cross routes so their their guys kind of get picked and that's not working. This could be a really shit game. Fuck. Passes it and it's picked out of the sky. And he's tackled around the five yard line. Yeah, not good, guys, not good. We are in trouble. Like they had a chance to get right back into this game. They throw the interception. All right, well, let's see if I guess we're back to the strategy that we were using yesterday, where it's just a big opportunity to really get some super pressure and. I don't know if we'll do that. My offense is killing me. And he tacks on 
All right, down by 21. It would be a sweet comeback if we could pull it off. <laughs> and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. No blocking, dude. It's been a good day for this linebacker, making a lot of plays. Yeah, he's just got a knack for coming. Oh, uh, shoot. He really has done a good job of just making his presence felt by this offense. In fact, if you're the offense, you got to account for him what on every single do? play. I mean, we're, we're past the point of running the ball now. We're behind. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football. Garrett B. Grove. Thanks, thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. This is a... Uh, not one of our better days here, but <laughs> we are um, trying to basically turn. We put a really shitty school in SEC West. Um, they're updated rosters, so I actually picked the shittiest one in the game, which is New Mexico State. And uh, we're just trying to revamp a program that needs some love. And man, it. What are my guys doing? <laughs> I've never seen that animation happen in this game. <laughs> so it's been uh, a lot of growing pains, obviously. But it's fun. Let's see here. Alright. Well, hey, we're moving the ball. I feel it, man. I'm on year two of Arkansas State. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun team to play with, too. I think that they've got a nice stadium, though, don't they? I'd imagine if you could get the fans in that place, it would really rumble. Shit, that line. But, dude, I'm so disliking the fact that, like, I feel like when I play these SEC schools, like, the defense... You can normally, as soon as you snap the ball, get a read on what defense they're in, and then, like, for example, this linebacker, ball snapped, and he's he's running. I'm thinking, okay, he's a flat guy, or he's, you know, running to his little hook to curl, and then out of nowhere, he just comes back on this cross route. Because <laughs> I'm seeing that he's getting his face crossed, so I'm like, oh, we got separation, but then it's like this guy's juking me just to almost, you know... Ruin my day. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh shit, now I got cornerbacks in. That's another thing, is I redshirted everybody that could be redshirted because I'm. I, I knew that this was going to be a hell of a struggle year. So that's my free safety that just caught a pass. <laughs> Alright. We need third down and they need to get it to the 19. Okay. Thank you for catching the ball. Holy cow. Brad, you can really feel the for sure he'd drop that from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next Am I play. running back on the post? But Clearly, the offense coordinator very happy about the execution on that. So I'm gonna go under with Abraham here too. <sighs> I saw why might been open, but it's my running back, so I don't really trust it. They also it looked like they had three deep there. Oh well, now you're begging me to run the ball. Get up in there. 21 point comeback maybe would be some hype <laughs> oh yes give me the forefront let's combo to backer now we're in see if we just do what we're supposed to do guys we catch the ball we block who we're supposed to block we can put up points you definitely want the football in his hands near the my, end my line has really struggled with combo and backer for some reason. And I realize that these guys are all like 66, 69, 71 overall guys. So it's definitely, um, you know, not expected that they would get it every time. But to not do it ever is another story. <laughs> and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Uh, 
Ooh. I don't like that personal package. Their last possessions giving them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Got a man, watch out here. They're just so good at tight roping. Was he really about to break that tackle too? It doesn't really matter what I do, this team does it. They're just going to go ahead and run over all my... I feel like I'm a Pee team that's playing, you know, a varsity high school team. What are we doing over here? See, like every time... My, my guys have not landed the first tackle yet against these guys. Their break tackle must just be through the roof. It probably isn't. I'm just, you know, assuming because of that's how it feels. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 49 yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Oh my gosh. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And he's taken down Whew. around the 27 yard line. <clears throat> I didn't realize they had Johnny Manziel at quarterback. And they might be coming with a blitz here. I pressed Y. <laughs> I pressed Y. Why don't you register when I need you to register? Catch the ball. What we got here? All right. And you were in perfect position too. What are we doing, guys? Do we not want to win the game? Is that... Is that what we got going on here? Are we scared to win the game? That's what it feels like. I get it, man. Sometimes kids are just scared to win. Fuck. I, I didn't want to have control of that guy. Of course, they run the fucking sneakiest little route there. Oh, out and in. <clears throat> While I'm, yeah, while I'm in charge of the fucking guy, but I was trying to just get in position and switch back to the linebacker that was blitzing. So now we gotta go score again. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It also just feels like my game is lagging playing with these players too. Their their agility and acceleration is just so low that it just it feels like slow-mo or like the game's delayed to my controller because they're just such a low rating of, of athletes coming in obviously to run the football control the control the line of scrimmage they're doing some of that but they're behind on the scoreboard so really basically saying that samuel's a god by that stat you know he's having a great individual performance which sucks because i'm at two minute drill and it's not working out it's not giving them enough points so i think diversity is the key for them yeah, no huddle they've got to be able to try to make some changes put the pressure more on the quarterback and the receivers and take some of the pressure off of just running the football Picks him up around seven yards with that catch. Nice protection, a good pass. <clears throat> try a little flood play here, man. Let's run flood to the boundary. I keep trying to run it to the field when I'm on the right hash, but for some reason, my quarterback is just not a. I get a field run. My quarterback is, cannot throw rolling left for shit. And my left tackle is also not good at um, staying engaged on his block whenever I am rolling left so it just you know my quarterback's not fast enough hey, Abraham as long as you make that catch man we're well, fine as long as you keep making those catches I know it sucks he's in trouble are you kidding me? I was outside the pocket. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Awareness is such a key attribute for a quarterback, and when he gets rid of the football, he'll. I want to look at that replay. <laughs> I think I was technically outside the pocket. 
kind of shit. Contributes to a lower rating in that category. Does the clock run on that note? As long as the clock doesn't run, I really don't care that, that even happened. Second down and a ways yeah, to go. Yeah, clock's not running, so we're fine. I just couldn't take a sack. Well, I guess I could. I probably should have taken the sack. Then, if that if that was the case, and I'd known, I probably would have just accepted the sack, called timeout. They bring him down. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Oh, they're calling timeout now. Fantastic. Dude, we've got to give my quarterback a chance. <clears throat> to put it on a rope let's see it I had put on a rope because that safety was gonna you know he was trying to get over there he had him beat I just knew that I couldn't float it because he'd catch up to get underneath it we've got a first and ten ball on the 39 yard line well we really need to try to prevent them from dang it I wish that in this game, man coverage was actually man covered, and your guys actually went to go cover their man. I, I just, I guess that might make it too easy, but, I mean, the other team can run man coverage against me just fine. Of course, we can't tackle the tight end for some reason. Although I guess my guys are trying to go up and tackle them high, you know, if they'd actually get low and drop and sink their hips and shit, they'd probably have more success. I didn't want to be in control of Cooks, I just wanted to move him over the tight end and switch players, and it didn't let me do that, and then I felt stuck. I actually was in perfect position, and I pressed Y there, and we just didn't go up and make the play. <laughs> This game could not be going much worse. He makes the PAT. <clears throat> All right, that could come back. Could the comeback? Just this kick. I don't think <laughs> yeah. See no. The man before half -time. No. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. He's to the ten. He's taken down at the nineteen. There's no point. All I could hope for is like some sort of pass interference or something like that. And that never happens in this game anyway. But I'll get clipping and fucking intentional grounding and all type of shit. These guys need to remember that on this try. Going deep. Almost picked off. And we finally come to the end of the first half, and this one's not even close. All right. The Rebels. And we kick off, of course. Welcome back to the action, and we hope the action will even up a little bit here in quarter number three. I will say that my defense does play this one. Great kick. better in the second half. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, so let's so just see. The offensive players, the quarterback, and the receivers, and what's happening on the field. I got to step back for a second and remind all of us what the job the offensive coordinator has done preparing his team. Ooh, I need to check out. All right, we gotta be aggressive. We're gonna have a chance. Dude, get over there. That's what I'm talking about. The man coverage. Your man. Go fucking cover your man. Yard line. It's second down. I'm watching that tight end there too. Yep, I gotta go cover him. And he's gonna be All right. for <clears throat> loss. loss of seven yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Oh. 
Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. He lets it fly. We need to make plays, though, too, whenever we're... Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. Brown to punt. Samuel fields at the 44. Tackle made. At the hey, we finally forced a punt. The day has not gone very well for this young man. <clears throat> well, I mean, you know, we need to, we still need to catch those interceptions, man. There's zero excuses for that. Always try to get your defense to pin their ears back and put pressure on the quarterback. When you do that, you're going to create opportunities. Complete and taken down immediately. I think B was wide open. I think there was a corner blitz. I wish that this game had a wide screen too whenever you snap the ball so that I could actually see shit like that because it would make a difference. Oh, fuck. Scrambling around. And he throws right away. He can't hang on to it. Catch the ball, please. I realize that it's, you know, not an ideal pass and catch to make and shit, but, dude. <laughs> Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Abraham picks up about five yards on that hookup. Get your blocks. Just get your blocks. Just get your blocks. Nice Holy shit. And they convert for the first down. I hate that that feels so slow out of pistol. It should be so much faster, but they're trying to fake. Actually, I've been meaning to go to my playbook and try to see if there's a better play than dive, because dive is like they're trying to make it a fake um, read option. And it's like, it doesn't need to be that. Just fuck, give him the ball and let him run upfield as fast as he can. We do not need to fake anything on dive. Dive should be quick hitting fast. If they keep giving us this look, we're just going to keep running it. Away from that extra guy that's on my slot, because that's the guy that's almost coming in here and ruining it most of the time. And now it's the other slot, because my receiver side just not to block him. Maybe block them, but he didn't say engaged, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take guys, away their guys, guys. Third down. Everybody just must be tired. And this is the eighth play. And yeah, when you're getting your ass kicked, it gets tiring. He's on the run. Gets it out quickly. And now the ball is loose. Defense says they've got it. And they do. God dang it. I shouldn't have hurt him, but I was just trying. I was like, well, you know, this game is already going so bad. Let's try to see if we can make a really cool play about that. Well, if we can get a safety, that'd be helpful, though. Ole Miss comes to the line holding that commanding lead. Safety. There we go. All right. Get the ball back. Try to score again. It's the first safety I've gotten in this game in a long time. I think it out of bounds. I'm good with that too. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. Oh man, did he shank that one? You can't go giving away great down. field position like that. Get the ball to 50 now. That's okay. <clears throat> the 
offense comes back out. And as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to feel <clears throat> a little bit more. So I got a cornerback and my running back out there right now. Shit. Now he's scrambling. Man open incomplete. Oh my god, my quarterback's actually making these plays right now too, which is very rare for him to be able to escape pressure and then throw on the run an accurate ball, and then now we're just dropping every fucking pass. That's an incredible I mean, it's an incredible play by my quarterback. You know, that just sucks. It's so shitty. He's scrambling. Now nobody's open whenever he finally He's you know, also gets it's pressure. He's gonna pick up less than Unbelievable. The quarterback scramble. Yeah, my poor quarterback. He's just running for his life. Third down and they need to get it try flood. And Price is in now and my cornerback's back in. He scrambled. Runs with it, and he's got room. Brought down around the 41 yard line. It's just no huddle. Try some shallow cross, see what. There we go. We're running the ball here. Please hold your block, guys. There we go. I mean, fuck, I wish I could call a timeout right now, but I can't afford to at the moment because. We're still in it. This game could come down to the wire. And he's tackled at the 32 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. He's going to try and scramble. Oh my gosh. Finally, a play was made by our guys. <laughs> Not very good ball placement, but I mean, it worked because they were man. But that's what I mean, is a man. They, they shouldn't be looking at the quarterback. They should be looking at their receivers that they're covering, and that's not what happened in this game. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. My backup quarterbacks in now. This is the eighth play of this drive. So the Aggies quarterback down there on the sideline, and, and Kirk, you and I talked to him earlier this week, and he is really the main cog in this offense. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain right now. They need him back on the field before this one's over. Tackles around the four yard line. Quick out to his receiver. <clears throat> yeah, we. I mean, we need to. Try to bring us back. Makes it and he's tackled short. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. And I'm sure they're happy with the result. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. <clears throat> and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. I can kind of see that bottom line what everybody else is the doing. Zone, down for a touchback. New Mexico State's playing much better on the defensive side of the ball here in the third quarter. Well, Brad, I think what I've seen is they were just doing too much in the first half. They've streamlined their attack. I hate I this personnel really package, man. Understand what to do, and they're playing a lot faster here. They'll come back out looking to erase the rotten taste, giving up that safety must have left. The defense is going to be Oh, my God, it's a D tackle on the quarterback, man. Thank you. Thank you for finally making sense. Like a little bit of sense. 
Yeah, this will be a big possession by both teams. The defense now needs to step up and hold their ground. You're fucking kidding me. I want to let this lead slip away. <laughs> this and the game. booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. Wow. What kind of shit, dude? <clears throat> From their own 47 yard line. First I mean, just down. completely unbelievable. the stop around the 47 yard line no game. That makes it second and ten. what formation is this it looks like they're gonna blitz oh my check god three, three. what are we doing makes the catch and look out and he's taking man coverage in this game is so line. fucking frustrating especially when they're running no huddle like this and all of a sudden i'm in a 4-2-5 under slide Making this fucking Matt Coral idiot look like he's special. He was all over. From the 31 yard line. Second down. He's not an idiot. I'm just saying that like the the way that they have him playing in this game, like he's some sort of god quarterback, is inaccurate. Breaking fucking two tackles and then fumbling one, but then we overturn his fumble. Job here by the defense. If you let this I mean, quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. They're in but field goal range now, which we can we can give up a field goal and still have a chance. So it's second and ten. Ball on the twenty yard line. I gotta watch this down. He fights forward to about the twenty. Okay. Cause what are we down by? Down by Bro, please get over there. I'll take it. Down by 19, I think. So this field goal makes it 22. So we'll just need to, we'll need to score three times and go for two and make it one of those times to tie. But obviously what we're going to do is we're going to go for two right off the get-go. As soon as we score again. His kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. And he's taken down at the 21. Finally, they're starting to block a little bit. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Oh, fuck, we don't. Have time to be running the ball. Well, we passed the ball four yards the fucking pass, then like might as well be. The defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. He makes the catch and has a first down. <sighs> Motherfucker. Tackle made at the 34 yard line. That'll about wrap, wrap it up, I'm pretty sure. Because now I'm pretty sure they're in field goal range. So that'll make it a four score game. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. From the 34 yard line, it's first down. What really killed me in this game was obviously just the main coverage. The main coverage being broken in this game. Which is frustrating because, well, and I guess it it's even more, you know, it's like even though it's frustrating and I'm aware that it exists, it's still even more of a pain because 
like in this game, Mississippi State's or not Mississippi, Mississippi Ole Miss's offense is just a different. There we go. Hey, we might have knocked my field goal. It's just a different offense that like breaks it even worse because of the audibles that they do and the motions and shit. And then you know my guys just don't. Do they just play? Don't react to that. Thank you, Shivers. Holy shit. We have a chance. There is a chance. It's a very small chance, but there's a chance. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. My quarterback making plays to the team, man. I feel so bad for him. He's actually having a hell of a day. You gotta love this quarterback receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure showed. Scrambling around. He's in trouble. Well, I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. Mm. Got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down. I'm going to say, watch him just fucking fumble that ball. That, that's exactly... What I feel like I'm waiting to happen is like I'm just waiting for the game to find another way to screw me real quick. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They're just trying to attack me from behind the entire time. You typically don't see fumbles when they're doing that, you know. <sighs> Up the middle for a nice game. Defense Here, like I just said, I'm waiting for the game. Okay, who? Holy cow! Well, it was a little too late though to give me something. Seriously, Jesus. A little late for that, and he just fucked up my no huddle, so now I've got at the safeties in at the moment. Unfucking believable. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. This is smart, efficient okay. play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. My safety wants to fucking play offense today. He wants to catch the fucking ball. Combo, 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 combo. Here we go. That might be Price's first touchdown. Eh, it's probably his second. <clears throat> oh shit, I said we were going to go for two tonight. Oh well. My guys are too tired at the moment, honestly. Here's an update from the studio and restater. Time to go to the Little Apple in Manhattan. Kansas State gets the W 24-17. Our score 38-23 here. New Mexico State to kick this one off. <clears throat> he really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. the offense will be looking to do better this time out. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. And he hauls it in. He's knocked out of bounds. Are you kidding me? The 33-yard line. Why does my receiver do that? 
They're showing blitz. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of seven yards. I mean, at least they're running no huddle like idiots at the moment. Please keep our no huddle. And it looks like they're going to bring some heat. Pass is tipped away. Kirk, the safety, made a really nice play on the ball. If he's able to break on that ball just a second sooner, he would have gotten <coughs> third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. You know, something else, Mississippi Ole Miss uh, ran some fucking trips to the boundary, too, which is like a rare. He's under some heat. Fuck he no. No, incomplete. The defense what to see the fuck, dude? Out, but getting the turnover would have been really big. I was just about to, like, lose it. I, I really thought that that receiver was going to catch the tipped, Brown, missed op punt. opportunity by my corner. We still need to intercept that, though. Is what they don't seem to understand. Like, we have to have that. Tackle made at the 31. And he was able right. to pick up some nice yards on the return. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. And a quick throw. Brought down at the 37. That's a game of He's on the run. He delivers. And he's tackled. Round the My quarterback is gaming today, and I just feel so bad that we've thrown four interceptions with him on bullshit. <clears throat> Fuck. Now he's scrambling. He's in why to be open he and he probably and might have been there actually at the last point I need to nice I need to try to ride that out sometimes and see if they sneak open the you know once the coverage line. breaks it's second down he's scrambling You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball Dude, just to throw the I ball. I just feel if so bad feel for like him. you're not going to be able to make the play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. We've got nobody open, man. He scrambled. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. You know, I, I... <sighs> it just sucks so bad that I don't have Looks an like answer. Looks like they decided to go for it here. Hey, come on, no, come on, no. Mike 35, well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Check out, check out. Got his receiver, dropped it. What are my receivers doing to me in these big games, man? When we have a chance and it just I mean that's pitch and catch. <laughs> oh fuck. <clears throat> so annoying. Here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. So goddamn annoying. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. We're still only down by two scores, and for some reason, they're still in the huddling. Chance, but dude. 
Now they're wasting the clock. Pussies. Thank God, one of you. We needed that so bad. Holy cow. Well, look at this shit. Still, shivers. That's three drops today, maybe? <laughs> what are we doing, dude? Do we, do we even want to win the game? Can't be scared to win the game, guys. Fuck, I had eight open. Now he's gonna run and watch out. That's a great tackle. It's a 27 Fuck. yard line. I should have just gave it to A. For some reason, I, I thought that that uh, little hook to curl or sink was gonna come down on me and it was gonna make things even more. Makes the first down catch. Even more open. And then I'd have an even bigger play and then it never happened. He just stayed, which is smart on his part. Based on where we're at in the game, that's how you would you coach that is to allow you know let them take off. You cannot. He's gonna try and scramble, and he just, throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do. I am just getting chased the entire game. I'm really curious to see. Uh, <laughs> like, would they say they said like Patrick Mahomes ran 200 yards or something like that, just trying to like avoid. You know the pressure from whoever they I forgot who they even played in the Super Bowl. And he throws it away. The defense I'd be curious to see what he's got. <laughs> I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. I had to try something, man. I can't, you know. Good job. Got safeties in at receiver right now. Great job at getting in that passing lane and I feel so bad. Five interceptions for my quarterback who just balled out today. Not his fault. That today was just not his fault. Second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. Just over a minute left. Makes it out to about the 49. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Mexico State's going to use their first time out of the half. Hmm. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackle. This is going to screw up right there. Samuels Heisman run probably. Brown is the punter. They get this one off and it's a beauty. He drops it. Cook, I'm trying to let you make a fucking play, man. Like Holy shit. You see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. Well, at least for now, the crisis was averted and they keep control of the ball. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He's on the run. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. How many drops are we going to have today, man? As a receiver coach, this is extremely frustrating. It's second and ten. Ball on their own eight. 
You know, it's like, because the, these interceptions would not happen if we would just actually make the plays that were there to be made. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down around the 14-yard line. New <sighs> use their second time out of the half. That'll bring up third and four. Gotta one win the game. He airs it out. Picked off, and that's gonna wrap this one up. Really? Big time interception, and this game's over. Oh my gosh. That guy wasn't even there. Oh, it was in my guy's hands, and he just took it out. <sighs> this game. Just loves we should just see the quarterback <laughs> take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll have time for one more. Sorry, I'm looking. I got I got Twitch emotes and uh, avatars and stuff like that coming. So I'm talking with the the graphic artist that's making these for me right now. There is anything to be positive about? It's about that performance by this individual. He he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing, but they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure. Well, I don't think that we have a chance to be ranked the rest of the year. <clears throat> I mean, unless, unless we can knock off Texas A&M and Alabama, we're definitely not going to win the SEC West. <clears throat> Let's see what recruiting just did there. Advance the week. Oh, yeah, we got a bye week. Sweet. <clears throat> Come on, fucking internet. Oh, hey, we've at least bumped up. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and do recruiting real quick. Please don't have hurt us. All right, we're still okay. Good shit, pretty much everywhere. Ooh, except for that linebacker there, which I don't know if I really care that much about. 
I'll try to fight for him, I guess. Safeties. Oh fuck. Oh, old miss, you bastards. Alright, let's take this down and let's put more points there. Good on their athlete there. And we have ready for visit the middle linebacker. Scheduling one of our bye weeks since that's all we got left. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I'm also going to put a head coach point. Um, there we go. I'm cool with that. <clears throat> All right. We're bowl eligible at least. We're going to go ahead and advance to the next week. Texas A&M. Kind of hope that they keep winning now, because I'd like to see, you know, us, us play at Texas A&M. It's highly ranked, so maybe we can finish the season 8-4 and four and sneak into the top 25 somehow. I mean, dude, our losses have not been bad losses. We just, you know... have advanced here. And Texas a is still ranked number five. Oh, and we got some OCDC updates. <clears throat> and we know exactly what we're going to put those on. There we go. Now the next time that we get a coach's upgrade, we'll actually have to think about it and, and weigh out, you know, pros and cons of each and read them through. But we already knew exactly what our targets were. All right. So we've got, we're bowl eligible. That's a win. Um, we've played our last two games against this week. We've got A&M and then Alabama. hope Alabama can just beat Mississippi State 
so that we get, you know, probably a... Honestly, if I can beat A&M, that'll help us tremendously, and A&M will fall below Alabama. And then Alabama could be up at like 12 or 13, possibly. And if we can beat them at 12 or 13 to finish our season, that'll be huge for us. That could give us a ranking at 8-4. Let's actually go to the polls and see if there are any teams with four losses in the top 25. Stanford is. What bullshit, man. <laughs> yeah, some of these other teams will still remain in the top 25 even though they'll finish at 8-4. So we can do that. If our, if our wins all come against, you know, highly ranked teams, then it's possible for us. So, All right. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the recording here. So you guys that are watching on YouTube, um, please let me know what your favorite moments are. Thanks for watching our, our gaming. Um, I'm very appreciative of the support. Uh, you know, ta tag in the comments what your favorite moments are, any highlights, any reactions of mine that you think are funny. Um, just let me know because I'm I've got editors that are working on different highlight films and stuff for this. So uh, I I love to be able to give them some references on what the viewers are really finding funny or entertaining and stuff. So um, and I hope that you guys stick along, and keep watching with us. So thanks for watching.